Hey Lola. So I'm here with baby Sasha. I know you guys met her already. Um, it is late night so you know she has to get her bottle. You know how that goes. Yep. She is a greedy little girl. I've been giving her her bottle. She actually is getting very, very um, good at <laughs> tearing down a bottle. But um, I'm going to get her changed into a little something else. Uh, when she was born, when she was first born, she didn't have any hair. And her dad had pictured her with big locks of curls and, you know, beautiful hair. But she did not come out with hair. So, which was surprising because most, um, most black babies have a lot of hair when they're first born. But she did not. And we, we found it a little odd, but we found out that she had a little condition. And although um, her daddy and I, you know, had imagined her having all this hair, we actually did it. It was like the least of our worry. We were just excited that she was just healthy and came out crying and... I mean, and boy, did she come out crying. <laughs> and so that's what mattered the most to us. And we have her scheduled. Um, she will go for a little bit of minor surgery for her hair. And I know to some of you guys, it may seem cosmetic, but we have to get it done early so that it will stimulate her scalp to continue to grow. So she's going to go in and they're going to help that along and she'll be going really soon so sure after the holidays she'll be going and oh my god I you know she have to stay for a few days so mommy is going to be missing this baby yes her is and she is I'm, I'm a little nervous but hopefully everything will be fine I'm going to go ahead and get her changed right here um, but she's going to trade places. Her brother is coming home soon, so she's going to trade places with him. I am going to take this off. Um, but anyway, girl, let's talk about some other stuff. I just wanted to fill you in on your niece, but let me, let me tell you guys. I have seen so many pre-orders over the holidays. I don't recall ever seeing this many pre-orders, but the funny thing is I've been kind of out of the loop a lot on what goes on in the community because I've just not been interested. I've collected from, you know, one place and I kind of kind of had just been in a little bubble for a while so I didn't I'm, I'm kind of getting back up to speed on what's going on but what I do know is that I've been missing out <laughs> I I really really love been loving my my final babies and um it really is a lot more available and it's just I don't know it just seems like I can just do so much more with them and what did I do with your oh here it is it just seems like I could just do so much more with them and her and these little feet put on some socks because I don't want her to be cold 
Um, so I'm I'm excited about that. I'm looking forward to uh, bringing more vinyl babies to life um, next year. I'm also um, I've gotten to the point where I just really enjoy painting a lot. Um, you know, part of me enjoy painting, you know, for others when, you know, when they're excited about the baby. Um, sometimes, you know, it can be a little rocky. Um, but I've just found that I just enjoy the painting process. But some of the things that I really, really look for in a sculpt is... The biggest thing is realism. And I know that I'm more of a sleeper fan. I actually enjoy painting sleepers more as well, usually. But as you guys can see, I have enjoyed painting some awake babies as well. But I just think with the sleep babies, they just are more convincing. Like, you know, um, I was watching a video and uh, the collector was speaking on how, you know, it is more convincing when you take them out and they're sleeping and people, you know, they're not expecting them to be wiggling around because they're sleeping. But when they're awake, they're looking for noises and stuff like that. Um, I was out, I was in Orlando, um, with, um, I believe I was out with my kids that particular time and I had um Puck with me and we were out and you know and I, I picked him up a couple times and stuff and we were at the food court and I picked him up a couple times before, you know sitting there waiting for my food to come and of course you know people Look, but casually. Like, they didn't really suspect anything because Puck looks so real. Um, but then... I... I think when I put him back in, in the stroller um, as my food was coming, this lady started walking towards me. And so, I was like... You know, I'm like, oh God, she's here she goes, she's gonna... You know, asked about baby. So she said, oh, she said, he's gorgeous. She said, I'm, she said, I'm sorry, though. I'm a nurse. She said, um, she said, she said, I'm a nurse. She said, have you checked on him? Is he okay, though? Um, and I said, <laughs> I said, um, what do you mean? She said, well, I noticed he really, I haven't noticed him, you know, breathing a whole lot. And um, he looks a little flushed in the face or something like that. I forget what she said. It looked like his color might have changed a little bit. And I, me and my kids were just, I said, don't, I said, he is, he is not real. And I said, he, he's a doll. And she took the biggest and longest gasp I ever heard somebody take. And it was like a sigh of relief. She was like, whew, she was like, Oh, she was like, and then she got to the point of, oh my God, he looks so amazingly real. She said, I've been watching you with him. And then, but when you put him down, I thought maybe you just didn't notice, but he hadn't, he hadn't moved and he wasn't breathing. I didn't see his chest. She said she didn't see his chest came in, in and out. It was just, it was hilarious, but I kind of felt bad for her because I know she was over there freaking out and she said, she didn't know how to approach me. So I thought that was so crazy. Um, but yeah, the sleepers kind of will, will do that. Um, awake babies, usually people will notice something is a little off because they are... Um, where is... That mean I didn't hook something up right. Because she got another... There it is. <laughs> um, yeah, they'll notice something and they'll be like, is that, is that a real 
baby. You know, sometimes they'll, if they get close enough, sometimes they'll do that. But a lot of times, even with them, if you turn their head a little to the side, like, and I usually put a pacifier in their mouth. That's usually the main thing that I do if they're awake. Um, you don't have to put a pacifier in the sleeper's mouth, but I put a pacifier in their mouth and I kind of turn them like this in the stroller, their head in the stroller, so that it's not a direct look, so that they could think that, you know, maybe they not, they're missing the eyes blinking or something. But I know that people sometimes they'll get really, really close up on you and they'll ask, like, they'll be like, um, they'll be like, it's, it's, wait a minute, is that a real baby? You know, something like that. But sometimes they'll just get really close. And sometimes they will get freaked out and just think it's real and it stop breathing or something. Which is, I mean, it's funny for us in a way and we'll feel good because it's like, oh, my baby fooled someone. But it's kind of creepy for someone that's not a dog, that's not a dog collector. And so sometimes, like, I got a comment the other day, somebody said, these babies look so real and what did she say she said these babies look so real it's all it's almost creepy and then they look like dead babies well I didn't take that as offense I said that's under I said thank you that's understandable but they you know they are dolls and um the reason why I say that is because some people when they say that they're not in the community, so they don't understand that that's very offensive for us, for someone to call our babies dead. But they look so real, and because they're not moving, and it's like they're lifeless, so what do you call that? Lifeless equals dead. And, you know, they don't, I guess they just really don't think about it when they say it. Um, sometimes people whisper it. Um, they'll be like, like, I mean, like, I'm sorry, but it, it looks dead. You know, and they'll whisper it. But, because I guess they know that you, some people got common sense enough to know that that can't be a compliment. Um, but, yeah. So, you know, I don't take my babies out like I used to. Um... Only time I take my babies out is if I'm doing I'm doing an outing with, you know, like a meetup with other, you know, dog collectors or whatever. I don't knock people who do take them out. And I used to take them out for reactions. But as my, I didn't understand what it was. I was like, well, after a while it kind of got old. But no, what happened is my collection began to evolve and the babies that I was collecting become more and more realistic to the point of where when I would take them out, I would barely get any reactions because people just thought they were real. And, you know, um, I would stand in a line, you know, at Walmart or somewhere and people would let me go ahead of them. And they would stand there the whole time saying, oh my God, how cute the baby is. And never notice, you know. And, you know, sometimes I'll, you know, when they say that, I kind of fidget and move the baby a little bit just so they don't under really notice that it needs to be moved. Because I'll be honest, um, days when I really just, because like if I'm going somewhere, like I'm taking a baby to see someone, like my grandmother, I used to take my baby to see my grandmother and my mom, you know, periodically. And if I have to stop to a store, I'm not leaving my baby in a car, so I would put them, you know, in a car seat or in a stroller and, you know, and take them in the store. And, um, if I don't really want to do reactions or be bothered, they would be, sometimes people are like, oh, she's so cute, how many months she is, and I'll, how old is she, and I'll say two months and keep moving. Like, I just don't go into the whole, it's not real, and then everybody go drawing attention, da 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 da, like, you know. But anyway, guys, um, I will catch up with you guys later. I look forward to showing you guys a lot of things. Um, I have um, some new kits, silicone kits that's coming in um, soon, and um, I don't know if I'll do reviews on them or not, um, some of them are kind of repeat, but I might, um, and yeah, 
So I'm still trying to get to a point to buy this other kit. But what I'm going to do the first of the year after the holidays is put up some babies for sale. And it may be some of my personal babies may even get included in that. But yeah, um, so I'm going to do that because I do need to make space for new babies. And I also, yeah. So anyway, that's that. Talk to you guys later.